Hey guys, what's up? I Seth the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next live attack video. And this one's from the scrimmage. Uh, there's a few rules for the first attack, at least, and the second attack as well. Uh, for the Town Hall 9s, our first attack has to uh, have three golems, so be a stoned attack. Um, so I am bringing three golems. There's also a no uh, queen walk rule. Um, so I'm going to do kind of a... Well, you guys will see in a moment. It's kind of a golem queen combo walk. Not really a queen walk, so a um, little bit different. Anyway, um, to start things off, I'm just going to drop down a wizard. This is a fresh hit, by the way, so don't know where anything is, um, but can have an idea where some of the stuff is. I mean, most of his, uh, a few, I mean, some kind of okay double giant bomb spots in the core, I guess, but it also could just be some singles by those air defenses, but not too big of a deal for this attack in my opinion. Drop down a wizard right there to take out these two buildings. Um, from there I'm going to drop down my golem. I'm going to drop it right like that to tank for all that point defense. And I'm going to drop uh, two healers on it. And then the healers will be out of range of that air defense so that will all be good. And then basically the plan for that is um, let the drop down my queen right here as if she's doing a queen walk. Nothing will be hitting her. Um, I think what I might do is drop down a giant to tank for that wizard tower. I uh, just, I don't want this, even this flash damage can do a little bit. Um, I might have to add a giant to my army comp, but probably drop down a giant just to help tank for the wizard tower at least. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, and then let the queen start walking up north. And basically once all three of these defenses go down um, and oops and these two will be down too the only place for the golem to go is to reroute back up north so basically the idea is that the golem will just go out in front and just start tanking even more for the next little area and that kind of convoy will make its way up north um, so <laughs> kind of a weird thing but this is a weird war we're just experimenting having some fun so we'll see how this works um, with this little golem walk and then as that goes on I'm not gonna wait too long I'm just gonna come in with uh, we'll do green for the next two golems come in with two more golems like so uh, well, by the way before that I'll have some quakes going down drop them pretty carefully and be able to open up that um, so drop those quakes in and then uh, two golems my king and a bunch of wizards Gonna go heavy on the wizards. I'll use a few to create the funnel. I might drop a single hog on this archer tower, um, but then gonna wall breaker in here and just come in with a bunch of wizards to back up my king and those golems. Uh, put down the rage to help everything make their way forward. I have two poisons. Um, if the CC is something other than the hound, I'll poison the CC, and I might save one for the king when I send my hogs in in this area. But I'm expecting a lava hound. I think that's what I've been seeing for most of the other. Uh, people and in, in, in any other clan and that's a good thing to do because it's a time sink and time's obviously more of an issue now um, But then we come with my hogs. I only have like 15 or 14 Maybe even 13 at the time, but I uh, just start sending them in right here I have one heal which I'll if I can if I spread out my hogs well enough I can maybe save that uh, to right about here um, If I can just kind of sprinkle them in like this on the splash damage um, I might be able to get away with that especially if the, ki the king should go down so I'll just see where the Teslas are, play it by ear, but I have one heal and then those hogs. And then this whole part of the base should be taken out by the, the walk. I mean, this expo might be up, but uh, I mean, the king will probably get to it. So my king and the golems. So I think this should be a, a good attack. The plan seems pretty solid in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Let's go ahead and not bring that giant. Let's just let the queen take out that wizard tower. If it gets a few splashes on her, it's okay. She's level 30. She can handle it. Um, but make sure I have everything. Don't, I don't have max CC troops, but it doesn't matter. If, I mean, I should be able to three-star this base without that max goal on level 4 should be fine. Um, and if I can't, um, that's kind of on me, not the golem. Anyway, uh, everything looks like I have all the troops right. 11 wizards, 4 wall breakers, uh, the quakes, the poisons, rage, heal. Um, I'm excited to see how this one goes. And we might be seeing our first fail by me 
if this doesn't go right, or it's the first in a while. I mean, I, I've obviously failed live attacks. I have like 25 of them. Um, but the last like three, I think I've been pretty good on. So um, going up to number 12. Um, yeah, fresh hit, like I said. So we'll see how this one goes. All right. Um, so drop down the wizard. Uh, then the golem. And yeah, the, the healers will be out of range of the air defense if I drop everything right. That'll aggro the cannons. Yeah, that's not that big of a deal. And then, yeah. You know what I might actually do is send in a few hogs on that cannon to get it to go down a little bit quicker. Um, that way the golem's going to keep moving quicker. So yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll send in a few hogs um, on that cannon when I can. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Hopefully it goes well. Enough talking about it. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. All right, one last check. Don't I forgot my heroes before, but um, not going to this time. That I mean, sucks when that happens. But yeah, let's give this thing a whirl. All right, here goes the wizard. Get this guy down. Then we'll get the golem down. Uh, wizard. Let him go. CC Golem. He's a little bit far up, but out of range of that air defense. Oh, God. oh my goodness. Why'd that Golem go so far up? Yeah, that's going to come back to bite me. Hopefully the Queen goes the right way, though. Yeah, the Queen should go the right way, uh, but that's weird. That Golem just completely skipped the wall and just... I don't know if that's why I dropped. Yeah, we'll see about that. Um... But I'm going to send in a few hogs in just a moment. Uh, let's see. One, two. Oh, and that wizard tower never went down. Oh, boy. And the log hound came out. All right, let's just... All right, queen, you're on your own. Uh, golem, golem. Wizard, 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 wizard. Go ahead and pop the queen's ability. Test wall breaker. All right, here come the rest. Um, sending some more wizards back here. Queen, or that. Uh, these quakes. Um, let's rage this up. I mean, the queen did go down, but besides that, not looking that bad here. Uh, let's pop the king's ability. Oh, we got to test the farm here. Let's go ahead and heal up. Uh, I, my only fear is, I, is there any skelly traps I can poison? If I hit a, a giant bomb, my hogs are toast. Um, let's get some cleanup wizards down. Some archers. Yeah, there's one giant bomb. So lost a few hogs there. If I can sneak a wizard and let's let that golem bust. Then if I could like sneak a wizard in right on that archer tower, I could have a shot at this. Uh, right there, go and get it down. Oh, I don't know guys, just these archers in the corner stuff. 40 seconds. Come on hogs. Oh. oh yeah, I don't think I have it, dang. That was close. This the I mean, this is all stuff the queen would have taken out. So the plan was there, I guess. I, it just went crazy real fast. Uh, that wizard tower didn't go down, so the golem didn't reroute, and from there it was pretty much toast. Just the golem placement. Um, well, I guess my queen placement wasn't dependent on that, so it didn't really matter. But we'll take a look at the replay, try to figure out what happened at the beginning there, because that. I mean, everything else went great. The hogs did their job. Um, it was just that last group that the queen should have taken out. Um, yeah. Oh, anyway. Let's go ahead and put an emoji in, and then we'll take a look at the replay. Um, here we go. So, starting off, drop down the wizard. Just fast forward to when I do it. Yeah, there goes the wizard, creating the funnel. I might have dropped my queen a little bit too high up, 
but the golem, would I drop the CC? I dropped the CC because I wanted to make sure that bottom cannon aggroed. I guess I didn't have to drop it that low. I just dropped the CC. Yeah, just too low on the CC. Kind of a weird golem thing, but uh, if the golem was on the, you know, the outside part of the wall up there on the top, uh, the air defense would not have gotten those healers, which would have helped because at the very least the healers would have gotten the queen at some point. Um, but anyway, the queen, you know, does starts to do her job, but it looks like she goes north here and doesn't come back down. The golem, yeah, so the, while the queen should take out that wizard tower, she didn't, so the golem doesn't go anywhere, and just kind of went downhill from there. Uh, here comes the lava hound. I think, yeah, the queen took it, takes care of the lava hound. Um, looks like another attack's going on. Yeah, but here come the golems. This, is, this stuff I all saw pretty well, but looking up top, I want to keep the queen in the view. Um, yeah, so she takes out the Lava Hound uh, pretty easily. The Archer Tower is out of range. Um, so that goes down. That's great. Could have used a Poison, but I was too busy. Um, almost forgot the Quakes just in all this madness, but got them down. Everything was opened up great. Um, maybe could have got that little conjunction right there and let everything into the Town Hall area. But it was, it was a bit of a reach, and it wasn't worth trying to get it. Didn't end up being that big of a deal, because... Uh, the wizards are able to shoot over the wall anyway. The golems out in front tanking. Those wizards under rage really helped a lot. They they burned through these defenses pretty quickly. So I went in heavy with the hogs as soon as I saw the Tesla farm. I knew I had to reinforce and support my kill squad. Um, but the wizards are still sitting back. Have quite a few of them up. Um, it's just that archer tower that stayed up for a while. Right here I hit a giant bomb. Uh, kind of a weird placement to have a double set right there. I was thinking there might be one there at the beginning, but it, I thought it wouldn't even matter because there's, there's no defense on the other side of it. It's just the town hall. I guess there's Teslas maybe, but um, anyway, luckily everything was on the golem. So the last like two hogs kind of got pretty deep through this base. Everything stayed on the golemites too, and that mortar's kind of slow. Um, dropped down that wizard. The, the whole thing was trying to get that wizard to get to the archer tower before it had destroyed the golemite. And the wizard gets up there kind of close, but he goes to the builder's hut. And then he goes down to the Archer Tower, um, which then goes back to the Golemite. So, unfortunate there, but uh, yeah, a bit of a fail. Like I said, uh, fresh hit on this base, and well, yeah, obviously. But like I said, uh, this is the Scrimmage War, so not too serious, luckily. And uh, should have a fun second attack, which I might try to record if I have time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, Planning on going to Town Hall 10 as things look, but I'll see how they shape up. Just from what I've seen so far after the update, Town Hall 10 seems like um, it's worth it. At least it's not it's not not worth it, if that makes sense. It's not any reason to keep not... There's no reason to stop progressing in the game, I guess is what I'm saying. So anyway, kind of a sidetrack, but hope you guys enjoyed the live attack. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, Sectotron out.